Hey, Sonya. Wow, look at all the people. I think it's always crowded here. Oh, there are families too. Sonya. Sorry, it just makes me think about my mom. Literally every time you see a family, that's gotta be like constant. But you know what? Whenever I think about that and feel sad, I remember what you said. What I said. I know how you feel and I wanna help you. That's what you said. When I recall that, I feel at peace. I'll always treasure those things you said to me. I don't think this will come out right, but you gave me something that I could never replace. Thanks. Uh, you don't have to thank me, but I have to. You changed me. I'm happy I was able to be of help. So, are you ready? We're gonna have a lot of fun today. An advertisement for Sonya's new single, Sonya Strum's long-awaited comeback. Yep, yep, yep. It's Sonya. This billboard used to be an advertisement for Ghost Crisis. They must have changed it when I wasn't paying attention. Aren't you happy they took down those ghosts you're so afraid of? I told you I'm not afraid of ghosts. Rude, Mega. Rude. See you later, Gizoid. Thanks for coming to stream, dude. So, where should we go? Uh. Oh, that wasn't here last time. Was it? I don't remember that. Geo, let's go to that cafe over there. That place is famous for its Sundays. I saw it on TV once. Maybe it was there last time and I just don't remember it. Really? Good afternoon. Here's your menu. Look at all of them, Geo. They look so good. What are you getting? Let's see. What do I want? I don't really know which one would be good. Okay, I'll choose one for you. How about this one? Well, I'm not a big chocolate fan. You don't like chocolate? Then how about this? Haha, <laughs> this is fun, isn't it? That was tasty. Yeah, it was pretty good. And that was a lot to eat in one sitting. That's why it's called the Everest Ice Cream Sundae. Yeah, that was a mountain of ice cream. It was true to its name, that's for sure. But that aside... You polished yours off. I could eat another. I love desserts. She must have a garbage disposal for a stomach. Yeah, don't say that out loud. I guess I use up a lot of energy singing. It wasn't just big, it was good too, right? Yeah, it was. Now I know why this place was on TV. Oh yeah, I just remembered. Speaking of TV, the blue hero they keep talking about on the news is you, isn't it? No, maybe. I don't know. Don't try hiding it. I know you too well for that. Tell me, it's you, right? Well, I don't know. Geo, come on, dude. Geo! Okay, okay, it's me. I knew it. That's awesome. You were actually on the news. Really? Of course. Everyone's calling you a hero. That's cool. Me? Cool? I guess. Yeah, and before you hated the idea. Well, now that he realizes it can get him girls, he's like, he's all in. There's an easy way to get star cards for your cards, but it's your choice and it's easy. I don't really care. We don't need it that badly. I'm just gonna play the game. And you know, what will be, will be. Hey! Oh, an advert. It's a commercial air display. The Lost Civilization exhibit is now on display at the museum. Be sure to check it out. It said the Lost Civilization exhibit. Huh, could be fun. You like things like that, Geo? Yeah, I do. Art museums, natural history museums. My dad used to take me to all of them. Oh. Since we're here, let's go have a look. It's at the museum, right? The museum is in IFL Tower, I think. Shall we get going then? Let's go. Are there any people around here with side quests? Again, we're not going to do them right now. But, uh, yo, are you just going to leave her like that? Oh, we have to talk to Sonya. It's embarrassing to see myself in a commercial. There's something I wanted to ask you. Sure, what is it? What made you want to take up singing again? Was there a particular reason? Yes, actually, there is. When I hung up my microphone, it gave me some time to think about what I wanted to do with my life. What do you want to do? Well, it's not just about what I want to do, just what I can do. It took me a while to figure it out. Then it hit me. There are a lot of kids in the world who have lost parents like us. I wanted to make music for them. I know what it's like to lose your parents. So I wanted to make songs that would try to heal that pain. Sonia, you're awesome to think that way. I'm nowhere near being able to do something like that. Yeah, I just saved the planet from being destroyed by Andromeda. No big deal. That's not true. You go far beyond anything I can do. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I didn't think all those things until I saw Mega Man on the news. That made me want to help other people. I didn't think I was that inspiring. Geo, you're a hero, and I'm a singer. Together, we can help people. Yeah, you're right. 
Look at the time. We really got caught up in talking. We were on our way to the museum. So let's go. Yeah, living in a world where, like, air displays just popped up in front of your face would be terrible. Hey, did I ever get that 50 link power thing from you? Special campaign. Customers link a 50 or more get a gift. It appears your link power is 50 or more. Here you go. Hey, HP memory 10. Great, great. The more HP, the better. And then I also, that link door right there is a link door for 100 link power, isn't it? And we have over 100. Well, we don't have over 100. We have 100, I think. Whoop. All right. Let's go open this bad boy up real quick, and then we'll continue on to IFL Tower. Goodbye. Dude, Grand Wave is so good. Love it. More fire rings to throw into the chip traders. Card traders, whatever. I am Link Power Door 100. I am now analyzing your Link Power. Congratulations, your Link Power is 100 or greater. You may pass. What is this? Charge V90. Worthless. I would never use up so much of my Link Power just to make my charge shot, like, hit two other spaces when I shoot it. Literal trash. I heard that the museum is at the top of IFL Tower. At the top, huh? That's a pretty fancy place to put a museum. Wow, this is so exciting. Let's hurry up and go inside, Geo. Whoop. So this is the museum. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! This is the same guy earlier in the game that said, hey, 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 and then I made the joke about Bokuto from Haikyuu, which I almost made the same joke about Bokuto again before remembering I'd already done it. You're that kid from Echo Ridge, aren't you? Huh? Who are you? You don't remember? Dude, I'm sorry. There are like 40 NPCs in the game that have your exact same face. I'm the movie producer you helped. Ghost Crisis? Oh, I remember now. That time when the advert ship crashed. You sure helped me out? So what are you doing at the museum? Now that's a story. There were some problems during the run for Ghost Crisis, and people started to think the theater was haunted by real ghosts. Yeah, that was Hyde's doing. We had to stop showing the movie, and we lost a lot of money on it. And so I lost my job as a movie producer. Oh, dude, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. No, you don't have to feel bad for me. I'm quite familiar with the ways of the world. It's tough to bounce back from a bad fall. So for now, I'm producing exhibits for the museum. That's a really, like, big jump in, in job type. How did you land that job? So then the Lost Civilization exhibit? Yes, that's one of mine. I hope it goes well. Of course it will. Oh, since you helped me with the advert ship, I'd like you to have these free passes. Normally you'd have to pay to get in. Really, are you sure? Of course I am. Just go up to the front desk there and the staff will let you in. What a man, what a guy. Love this dude. You and your friend can go in for free. Just speak to the staff member at the reception. By the way, dude, your profile still says job producer. You might want to change that. That's not the case anymore. Go to the desk and you can enjoy yourselves. The Lost Civilization exhibit sounds cool. Welcome to the Lost Civilization exhibit. Join us in our brief look at the history of our world. We have here on display for you today a collection of lost artifacts left behind by the previous stewards of our planet. Wow, this is going to be fun. Now, before we look at the exhibits, please take one of these. Ah, oh, matter wave. Please follow the guide's guidance. Take your time and enjoy the exhibits. Let's use the guide. All right, all right, all right. Fine, fine, fine. I'll do it. I provide explanations for the items on display. Get the work. Materialize museum guide. Well, hello there, people. I'm the museum's guide, Gabby Guide. It's nice to meet you. Hi there. Hello. Our first exhibit is the lost continent of Mew. What's Mew? It was a land that existed long ago. Their advanced science would put anything we have today to shame. And the civilization that lived there was called the Mew. Their science was more advanced than ours? I've never heard of them. I've never even learned about them from my teachers. If Mew even existed at all, it's still a matter of serious debate. 
According to one theory, the continent of Mew just disappeared off the face of the Earth. Wow, it all sounds like a big mystery. There are many artifacts found around the world that are believed to have come from Mew. This is an exhibition of those artifacts. Please take your time in looking them over. Alright. This model represents what the land of Mew may have looked like. Mew is thought to have vanished suddenly from this world. The inscriptions on this stone tablet is thought to be a symbol used by the Mew people in the writing system. Although scientists have yet to figure out the meaning behind it. There are some objects thought to have been left behind by the Mew. The Mew are said to have had technology much more advanced than what we have today. There is what scientists believe to be a portable terminal device that was used by the Mew people. Ah, uh, yeah, it looks like an ancient star carrier. What a shock. This exhibit, it looks like a star carrier. Is this a relic of Mew as well? Hey kid, you remember when we fought Hyde? He used something to wave change. And that something looked like a star carrier. Oh, what a shock! Who would have thought that this exhibit we came to about an ancient civilization would play a part in the overarching story? I never could have suspected! You're right. He said it was an ancient star carrier, I think. You don't think it's related to this, do you? I think we need a closer look at this relic. We can't. We'll get in trouble. Ha! You're such a wuss. If you don't do it, I will. What do you know? We're gonna find out who this Hyde guy is. Mega, stop! Ayuga. Ayuga. Well, good job, Mega Man. I mean, Omega Sis. I knew it! Anti theft system has been activated. Oh. Whoa! Are these matter waves? We are the auto guards that protect this museum. You were attempting to steal museum property. No, you're wrong! Do not lie to us! Geo? Ah, oh, great. Now my girlfriend's gonna find out that I'm a thief. What's going on here? Well, you see. What's going on? Hey, what's the meaning of this? It's that producer. I'm sorry I accidentally touched the exhibit. I didn't mean to. Oh, is that all? Auto guards, you may stand down now. Yes, sir. I'm really sorry. Just be careful from now on, okay? So, what do you think of the auto guards? The only way you can steal something here is if you use magic. Ha ha ha. Grr. That was this close to finding out Hyde's secrets. Were you really, though? Easy, Mega. Our next exhibit centers on the Lost Tribes. The Lost Tribes? These three tribes have already been wiped out. But before that, they existed for a long time. In a period of wealth and prosperity, they also possessed incredible power. These exhibits will introduce you to those three lost tribes. Alright, let's get it. An entire people gone. I wonder what happened to them. Ah, eh, probably a meteor. Ma yep, that word. This prehistoric placiderm thrived during the Mesozoic era. It evolved a virtually flat body, which allowed it to speed through the ocean at nearly 2,500 miles per hour. 2,500?! Oh my goodness! This ancient tribe of giants is called the Saurian. There are various theories about how they died out, but of those, the meteorite collision theory is the most widely accepted. This display is a recreation of a magnificent battle between, uh, that word and a that word. Neck is too long, Adon, and chomp real hard a sore. Ha! Wait, what was this thing's name again? Let me see it again. Mac real fill. Okay, no, that one's like an actual dinosaur name. Yeah, so the Saurian were dinosaurs, basically. This uh, piece of equipment was used extensively by the Zerker. It's made from Oli Hulkon, a mineral even harder than diamonds. Crazy. This bloodthirsty tribe that lived in the Middle Ages was known as the Zerker. Fighting day in and day out is what is said to have ultimately led to their destruction. This display depicts a duel between Jorn Berserk and Eagle Norse. Or Eggle Norse? Probably Eggle. That's how it's pronounced in Xenoblade. This piece of equipment was used extensively by the Zerker. It's made, yeah, same thing. All right, cool. So this is like explaining all of the tribes. So we have the Saurian, which are based off of dinosaurs. That's going to be our auto brother. Our auto brother will be Saurian. Zerker is what we are, which was like Middle Ages. And then uh, the last one is Ninja, which I have the Ninja version of the game. And I'm going to try to, through DS Wireless Play, form a brother band with that version of the game. So that we'll have a uh, link with all three versions of the game. During the Warring States period, this tribe, the ninja, engaged in secret maneuvers behind the scenes. The Warring States era from Naruto. Is is this Hashirama? 
The ninja engaged in secret maneuvers behind the scenes. Their secrets were guarded by their high degree of solidarity and fierce warrior code. This display shows Zenzu Hattori and Kojira Kazama dueling to the death under a dark and moonless sky. Wild. Secret tools used by the ninja. The ninja fought under the cover of darkness, patiently waiting for their enemies with specialized weapons, such as mighty scrolls and dagger-like kunai. I didn't get to talk to that kid that was right there. Ninja, Zerker, and Saurian. These are the three lost tribes, and there's an interesting fact that is common to all of them. Before they were wiped out, their tribal links or bonds had weakened. Their links weakened? Each tribe prospered in turn, and with that, their ties to their fellow tribesmen began to weaken. This sowed discord among the people, which led to wars and the eventual destruction of each tribe. They turned on their fellow tribesmen? Yes, because their links were weakened, they were wiped out. Academics call it the precursor to ruin. Precursor to ruin? What a horrible thought. Now, let's move on to the next exhibit. This is an exhibit of ooh parts, and it's the pride of the museum. I'll talk to this kid. Huh, there's something fishy about this here tapestry. Kid, are you getting the sh same strange feeling about this place I am? No, everything seems pretty normal to me. There's definitely something fishy about this place. Wonder what it could be. Precursor to ruin sounds kind of scary. Is there a reason why Ninja is separated of the Zerker Exorian pack, or is it just a region thing? No, there are two versions of the game. So, like, you know, the first game had three different versions, which was Dragon, uh, Leo, and Pegasus. And then the third version of the game, Star Force 3, not third version, the third game had two versions, which were Red Joker and, uh, and uh, Black Ace. So, like, ever since Battle Network 3, they started doing two versions because it would let you... Uh, you could get different versions from your friends, and you'd get different things depending on what version you got. Also, it incentivized some people to buy both versions so that they could sell more copies. So there's Zerker. For some reason, I don't get why there aren't just three different games. I guess it's because they didn't want to do three copies with Zerker and a Zerker version, a Saurian version, and a Ninja version. Because they wanted to do the whole Auto Brother thing, which requires there being two versions in one. But basically, they just wanted to sell more copies, or they wanted to have different versions so like if you you can play the zerker version no matter which game you buy but if you buy the saurian version then you can only play zerker and saurian if you buy the ninja version you can only play ninja and zerker so you know just uh just version differences basically and this exhibit over here is the star of the lost civilization exhibit the ooh part ooh part it stands for out-of-place artifact. It refers to artifacts that don't seem to belong to the place where they were found. That is an ooh part. What does that mean? For example, there were no cars in ancient times, right? So unearthing a fossilized car somewhere would be strange. When something that shouldn't have existed is discovered among objects from a different time period, it's called an ooh part. Wow, you know your stuff. And the ooh part in this exhibit? It is believed to have been made by the Zerker tribe. This is an ooh part? It doesn't look that different from the other relics on display. Ah, but this ooh part contains a secret. When the composition of this artifact was analyzed, our scientists here were unable to determine what it's made of. It's composed of something unknown to present-day science. Unknown to science? How can that be? When it was being analyzed, they found that it bears a striking resemblance to something we use. It is uncannily similar to matter waves. What? So matter waves were being used in ancient times then? Historically speaking, that's an impossibility. But the fact remains that this was dug up during an excavation. The scientists are still scratching their heads over this one. Another mystery of life, isn't it? Hey, kid. This thing is off the hook. How so, Mega? Put on your visualizer and check out the U part. You'll see. Okay. Oh, it's got an aura. Whoa, it's spewing out EM waves. And these are more powerful than any I've ever seen before. Just standing here, I'm overwhelmed by the power. Almost overwhelmed. What exactly is this thing? A weapon. It's definitely a weapon that uses EM waves. How did they make such a thing? Uh-oh. Did you hear something? Oh, no! What are these black holes doing here? Who put these black holes in my exhibit? Ah, well, there it goes. Sandfox, welcome to stream. I've been watching your Pokemon Conquest playthrough, and I love it. Thought I'd drop by and say hi. I'm glad you're enjoying it. 
depending on where you are, if you ever get to part 113, part 114 in Conquest is missing. Don't bother looking for it. You just have to go straight to part 115. I don't know what happened to it, but it doesn't exist. The exhibits! 